China is set to build another extraordinary mega project, the world's longest undersea tunnel. The country stands as a nation that has undergone a remarkable transformation. This further solidifies its position as a global powerhouse through its leadership in a lot of mega projects. This current mega project aims to change how we travel and bring countries closer together economically. It's a huge effort that plans to make a big impact on how things are connected in the area. This leads us to wonder how Chinese engineers constructed the world's longest undersea tunnel in Qingdao, leaving American engineers utterly amazed. The construction of the world's longest undersea tunnel is in Qingdao, a growing coastal city that has transformed into a major metropolis. It now ranks as the third largest economic hub in northern China, trailing only behind Beijing and Tianjin in economic output. Qingdao plays a key role in driving regional economic growth and development. Located in the eastern province of Shandong, China, Qingdao is a lively port city that combines modern skyscrapers, charming parks, and inviting beaches along the picturesque coastline of the Yellow Sea. Now, Qingdao isn't new to doing things that grab attention. Back in 2011, it made the news with the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge and Tunnel. This project pushed the limits of engineering excellence. It became China's longest bridge over the sea and held the title for the country's longest underwater tunnel. About 11,000 years ago, a sea level change turned Qingdao into the stunning Jiaozhou Bay we admire today. Thanks to its deep and vast harbor, along with its unique geography, Qingdao proudly hosts the prestigious Qingdao Port, ranked as the world's fourth largest port. Three decades ago, crossing the bay meant enduring hour-long ferry rides. The Coastal Bay Highway came along, making it a bit faster at 50 minutes. However, in 2011, Qingdao completely transformed the scenario with the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge and Tunnel, turning that one-hour commute into a quick six minutes. The move of the Qingdao Free Trade Zone, Economic Development Zone, Port Hubs, and the Qingdao International Beer Festival to the West Coast made a big impact. More people started traveling across the bay, and now nearly 200,000 vehicles make that journey every day. The growing traffic created the need for a new way to cross the sea. There was a pressing need for better connections. The current Jiaozhou Bay Bridge is impressive, but it has challenges like traffic jams, weather-related issues, and restrictions on carrying goods. This shows the demand for improved transportation networks in the region. To address this, construction for the second Jiaozhou Bay Undersea Tunnel began on October 29, 2020 in the lively West Coast new area of Qingdao, Shandong Province. The main part of this tunnel is an impressive 15.89 kilometers long, and it's set to change our perception of what's possible beneath the waves. The second Jiaozhou Bay Undersea Tunnel is a smart solution to the traffic problems and limitations faced by the current Jiaozhou Bay Bridge. Its clever design is intended to make things better by giving people another dependable way to move stuff around. This not only helps things run more smoothly, but also makes the whole system stronger, so it can handle unexpected challenges. What's great about this tunnel is that it's built to be straightforward and work in any weather. No more getting stuck because of rain or snow. China's idea is to make trade, business, and connections between cities easier and faster. The plan is, when things flow better between places, the whole area can grow economically. They are building a faster and more reliable road to success for everyone in the region. The upcoming Qingdao Second Subsea Tunnel project, aiming to be the world's longest subsea road tunnel, is scheduled to be finished and begin operation in December 2027. This major infrastructure development is expected to transform transportation and connectivity in the region, ensuring increased accessibility and efficiency for years to come. It'll make life easier for China's ever-growing population. This shows China's strong dedication to coming up with new ideas and moving forward. China is committed to being innovative and making progress happen. This tunnel will save time on travel. It's a key that opens up more opportunities for trade, 
business, and people moving between Qingdao's busy eastern and western parts. By making it easier for folks and goods to move around, this smart move is set to create lots of chances for growth. The tunnel project we're talking about isn't just a small achievement in one city. It's a big part of China's huge plan to make its economy grow. China is investing a lot in building massive city structures and transportation systems to make things work better for everyone. Now, let's dive into the project details. Who is the company tasked with the project? Qingdao Kansan Development is at the forefront of building the second Jiaozhou Bay Tunnel. The tunnel's route starts at Huaihe East Road in the West Coast New District, travels along the Liu Gongdao Road, goes underwater in Jiaozhou Bay, and eventually comes out at Qingdao Port. Connecting the East Coast, this tunnel will bring together the various coastal neighborhoods of Qingdao, creating a unified and interconnected city layout. It's like stitching together different parts of the city so that everything fits together smoothly. Once this tunnel is complete, it's going to be a big deal. And get this, almost 10 kilometers of it will be underwater. The deepest part of the tunnel goes a whopping 115 meters below sea level. This shows off the incredible engineering and technology behind the project. It's like building a super highway under the sea, making travel more convenient and impressive. This tunnel is not just aiming to be long, it's planning to beat records. The Riffelike Tunnel in Norway is 14.3 kilometers, but this one will outshine it at 15.89 kilometers, securing its spot as the second underwater tunnel in the famous Jiaozhou Bay. What's even more impressive is the scale of the work. The effort to dig and construct this tunnel is expected to move over 8 million cubic meters of earth and stone. This tunnel is not just about going long. It's designed to be super functional. It's got six lanes for traffic, going both ways, and a central service channel strategically placed. This is to make sure that it caters well to both regular cars and big trucks carrying goods. The speed limit inside the tunnel will be 80 kilometers per hour, making it a smooth and efficient journey for both commuters and cargo. Building this tunnel will come with its fair share of challenges. Picture this, you're digging deep into the unknown, dealing with not one, but two very different types of rocks. On one side, there's the tough and unyielding granite of Huangdao. It's like trying to carve through a solid rock wall. On the other side, things get even trickier. Qingdao throws in a twist with its soft gray limestone and layers of sand. It's like trying to navigate through a mix of hard and soft materials, making the construction task quite a puzzle. Handling these diverse rock formations is a real challenge for the tunnel builders. The tunnel builders are facing a real geological puzzle here. There's a massive Kanku fault stretching over 200 meters, creating a clear divide between the flatlands to the west and the rugged Laoshan mountain-dominated terrain to the east. It's like navigating through a maze of different rocks and challenging fault lines. To tackle this complex situation, they've considered using advanced methods like shield tunnel boring or immersed tube. But these techniques are not only expensive, but also come with risks. So what's the solution? The builders are opting for the tried and true method of drill and blast. This technique is perfect for dealing with both soft and hard rocks and happens to be the most reliable way to face the formidable challenge of constructing this tunnel in such a challenging geological landscape. It's like solving a tricky puzzle with the most dependable tool in the toolbox. Working with delicate rocks is tricky. One mistake and seawater could flood in, putting the whole project in danger. To avoid this, they're putting up a strong barrier. This barrier not only keeps water out, but also makes the tunnel stronger, helping it move forward through the challenging Kanku fault terrain. Think of it like building a shield, not just to protect the project, but to make sure their plan of connecting Qingdao's coastal areas stays safe. Every solid barrier they put up is a step toward making this big connection happen without any hiccups. Facing challenges like keeping the tunnel well ventilated, preventing disasters, handling strong water pressure, managing big fractures, and coordinating large shields is a big achievement. It shows that China is excellent at building tunnels. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.